Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we were going to name our uh, little mascot, our adoptee of the Space Amoebas. And uh, I selected these are all terrible, and it gave me another name list instead of Boomer, Blaze, Nova, Blitz, Zero, Diva, and Koss. I still don't like these ones either. <laughs> it keeps giving me new ones. Wow. The A member. <laughs> Beauregard. <laughs> Old Booty. <laughs> Zeke. Storm. Ghost. Signy. I kind of like Ghost, but I kind of want to see what more horrible names it comes up with. <laughs> Just call the Flappy and be done with it. <laughs> wow, that's the last chance. We have developed the ability to break the boundaries of space and time to travel faster than the speed of light, yet we cannot decide upon a name for this amoeba. This is our last chance. Wow. So... It will not give you a chance to fill in the name. It just <laughs> gives you selected names and it tells you the gamer, fuck you, you're not getting to name this. We're taking our names, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Vesper, Arda, Phaeton, Wraith, and Raka, or just call it Fluffy. <laughs> well... I do kind of like the name Wraith. So let's go with that. <laughs> there we go. Oh no! I didn't want you to do that at that pace. Jesus. Okay. Oh. Not that one either. Okay. A Ute satellite was placed in orbit around Muscida's fi uh, 4, rather. Muscida 4, to commemorate the moment of first contact between their empire and the Jabardini. Jabardini. A contemporary civilization. I can't fucking pronounce half of these names anymore. This event occurred right here in the Muscida's, Muscida's system and had a profound impact on all levels of Ute society. For over a million years, they had thought themselves alone in the galaxy, and the Ute reacted with both awe and horror upon the discovery of sapient alien life. The ISS Arbiter has recovered the satellite, which now awaits a full analysis. Fair enough. Alright, well. System reconnaissance oh, completed. Quarters ship to stay there so uh you're gonna stay there and research that and then you'll finish your things this way that way that way there 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 and there that's good that's good to me and wraith Let's send you... Oh, jeez. No home station. That's impossible. We're going to send you back to... Back to Felon Day. Back to the shipyard. And another tradition we can do. We can do... Faith in Science. That would at least help with the uh, other bullshit we have to do. Huh. The public has come to regard science as something almost akin to a religion. Their faith in it in, is absolute. There is no question in this universe so big that it cannot be answered by science. Pops working with research have their upkeep reduced by 20%. I would like that right now. I would not have I would like not having to deal with fucking upkeep right now. That'd be great. Construction complete. Alright. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. I sent them there. I forgot about that. No, I meant to do that. Then I send them back. 
There we go. That's better. I had forgotten for half a second that I had sent the Imperial Fleet over there. But I do not know how they're going to work out. It ain't going to work out well. Uh, let's go home and upgrade. Because <laughs> maybe that'll give me enough time. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably a good idea. All right. Um, hey! It's also helping with the civilian industry's uh, consumer goods shit. That's the word I was looking for. That was kind of what I was hoping for, honestly. All right. Um, uh... Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Special project complete. After analyzing the satellite we recovered above Musida 4, our archaeologists found an ingrained, highly stylized picture of what appears to be a Ute cruiser and a much smaller Jabardini. Jabardini. I will probably never be able to pronounce that name right. <laughs> Scout in close formation during the first contact event. This has given us some notion of what their starships look like. An interesting find. Alright, there's that, and there's that. That should at least help cover that for the time being. Alright. And yeah, next month I'll actually have them. Uh, first, I want them to finish construction that. complete. There we go. Now I have them work on the star base there, and bring in that uh, source of energy credits. Anomaly found. Efforts to map the surface of this planet have identified a strange mountain formation in the southern hemisphere. It does not appear to have formed naturally. Okay. Well, let's look into it. Why not? Had to have a sip of tea. Okay. I haven't finished it yet, so I haven't made my coffee yet. That'll be after. Okay. Nope. Helps if I turn the... The science division the reports a new breakthrough. We have completed coil guns. Hell yes. Beautiful. And... Hmm. Improved Corvette hulls would be good. Standardized Corvette patterns would be good. But the powered exoskeletons... That would also be very good. Wearing, wearing, no swearing, not swearing. Okay, wearing a powered exoskeleton suit augments the user's strength and speed. The military applications are obvious, but we will also increase labor efficiency. Fair enough. As far as I'm concerned, a good idea. Ships refitted. Cool. Alrighty. And they've been refitted. Well, refitted to have lasers on them. They didn't really refit to do much else. Didn't upgrade the uh, coil guns. System yet. reconnaissance they will completed. Eventually. They will Ships soon. refitted. And it has been refitted again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was previously thought to be assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of Ocelus... Yeah, Ocelus 3 have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that Ocelus 
three could have supported life on that scale at any point in the planet's history. Science officer Inez Renard has prepared a special research project to delve further into this mystery. Fascinating. Um... Let's have him research that. And then survey the plan. <laughs> survey these once again. There we go. There we go. And there we go. I really need to invest in another fucking science ship. And in fact, I might. At this rate, I might. Um, there we go. The distinction class. Oh, yeah. I never did anything with the... Uh, Never did anything with the defense platforms. I'm going to delete this. So we don't have that anymore. Um. Uh, missile and missile. Why not? Because they go through the shields and damage the hull. So... Really, they are just slightly more powerful than dealing with traditional weapons, I think, at least for now. All right, so a shield and then a reactor booster. Reactor booster. Okay, yeah, I like this idea. I like this idea of mine. And then we autocomplete, rename it the Lion, and then see. And then we get rid of this since we don't have any of them already. I don't need to worry about it. And there we go. Anomaly found. Whoop! I hate when it does that. Pops them right on me when I'm planning on backing out of a thing. <sighs> the anomaly on Dorfil Seven. Okay. We have detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet. What manner of organism could possibly live there? We'll find out, won't we? Construction complete. Nice. And now we'll have him focus on the energy credits. Construction complete. Perfect. Alrighty. And we have another science ship, which we shall recruit. A new scientist, a roamer, which increases their survey speed by 25%. Nice. I like that idea. And in the spirit of that, let's have them go this way instead, compared to everyone else. quickly figure out if this way is a way we can forge forward or not. Okay. And with that in mind, some kind of burrowing silicon-based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Dorfil 7. I could almost not read that for a second. <laughs> I did adjust my head to be able to read it. As best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Sounds good to me. Ooh, I finally hit the population threshold where I can make that fucking civilian industries and not have to worry about that anymore. Finally. Special project complete. Huh. After continued studies of the massive, skele <laughs> massive skeletal remains found on Ocelus 3, science officer Inez Renard has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic spaceship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within the larger skeleton, and we assume these came from members of the crew. 
For unknown reasons, this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash-landed on Ocelus 3. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones alone has substantially advanced our knowledge. Perfect. Love to hear it. All right. Eventually, we'll get rid of these industrial wastelands here. Uh-oh. I knew this was coming up due. I didn't think it was that quick. God damn it. Um, map the stars once again. Aha. So they can continue doing that quickly. What the what? Did I forget to tell him to finish that? I guess I did. Whoops. <laughs> Oopsie dipsie. My bad. All right. Have him finish up there, because I think there was a habitable planet there, wasn't there? Construction complete. Ooh. Yes, there was. And it was Oscillus 2, and it's a continental world. 22. All right. I'm liking, this, I'm liking the sound of that. Has some modifiers of asteroid impacts and hazardous weather. Hmm. Not liking the sound of that too much, but it would boost the uh, energy credits from jobs, the max de generator districts, and max mining districts and minerals from jobs. Hmm. Huh. It just impacts the habitability a little bit. Not significantly enough for me to be worried. At least not yet. Fair enough. All right. Anomaly found. Oh. Ship sensors are picking up an unexplained pattern of interference in the Dorfil system. Okay, fair enough. And we send the ship back. So I don't have enough to expand to a fucking star system anyway. We'll just wait on that. Hmm. We'll just reinforce the fleet a little further. Just so we can beat those space amoebas. The ISS Remembrance crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the unusual pattern of interference in the Dorfel system. The signal is a song. A complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation, to be precise, and one that science officer Jamal Al-Hazmi cannot seem to get out of their head. Who and what may have composed this song remains unknown, though its complexity infers an incredible level of technology sophistication regarding subspace harmonics. The signal's geodesics suggest a point of origin from outside our galaxy. Curious. Very curious. All right. Brings us up to 532, which is good. Through hard work and experience, scientist Jamal Al-Hazmi has developed new skills. Field manipulation. System reconnaissance okay. completed. All right. Singularity with four engineering. Nice. We'll go for that soon enough. Construction complete. We built two new ships. Construction complete. Three new ships. There we go. All right. Science division reports a new breakthrough. The field modulation. Modulated fields, al fields allow for increased production and improved energy yield. Hells yes. All right. Hmm. Should I go blue lasers or automated exploration protocols? 
blue lasers would at least bring me up to speed on those. Hmm. That's a good idea. I'll go with that. Also, I just noticed our plan. Our fucking energy is going down again. God damn it. What did you do? That's what you did. You little shits. Alright. There. No, stay that way. God damn it. Don't need minerals as badly. Anomaly found. As you seem to think we do. Entire continents on Ocelus 2 are blanketed. Oh. I didn't think we would still be exploring Ocelus 2. Or was that a different planet for that organic ship? I forget. Anyway. Uh, entire continents on Ocelus 2 are blanketed in a strange growth that seems at odds with the rest of the planet's flora. Let's look into it. Explain why. Oh, wait, this is the inhabitable planet as well. Ooh. That'll Special be Special project complete. Ooh. After many weeks of study, more like years, our expert linguists have unearthed the meaning behind the documents found on Tawagawa 5A. The documents were philosophical ponderings by a famous scholar only referred to as Talisa the Teller of Tales. Her teachings have provided us with much insight into how to better gain political results via applying different states of mind and using larger scale questions as a focus for reform. Splendid! Beautiful. Gotta love that. And it's time to send the fleet to possibly deal with those. Invasive exofungus. Uh-oh. After intense study and sampling of the growth blanketing entire biospheres on Oslis 2, Inez Renard reports that the substance is not native to the planet, but rather, rather an invasive fungal life form of unknown origin. The fungus feeds on biomatter, shake, choking out existing plant life and enveloping terrain. Any future settlers on the planet would have to deal with routinely burning back the exofungus. It is unknown at this point if it can be completely eradicated. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's really not good. Oh no. System reconnaissance completed. All right. System reconnaissance Send completed. Send them out to there. For now, anyway. Forget. Stray's a... Yeah, it's a single star. Okay. Ooh. There we go. And the last one, research output. Beautiful. High capacity quantum bands dedicated to data bank transfers make possible virtually completely synchronous. Brain broke. Let me try that again. High capacity quantum bands dedicated to data bank transfers makes possible vers virtually completely synchronous research operations across vast distances. There we go. Now I can actually speak English. All right, an ascension perk. Whee! What do we got? Uh, let's see if there's anything new. Arcology project. That's new. And Xeno compatibility? It, the invention of universal sexual biology has revolutionized society. 
even if it sometimes requires awkward rotations to make a connection. <laughs> in on me shitting around with my buddy who was playing this recently. Is that what you did? You heard me talking about fucking aliens, didn't you? <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Let's go with one vision. Sounds good to me. There we go. That's funny. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new, wondrous forms of space-born life. Quickly named Space Amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Valenian Corvette. We should leave it be and remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Felidae. Or... We can just kill them for money. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's an idea. Um, I don't think our uh, our amiibo will be too mad if we go on fighting these ones. So yeah, do that. Anomaly found. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this moon. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. Let's look into it. Still, still occasionally giggling over that one ascension perk. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Empire of Felony. Led by scientist Jamal Al-Hazmi, they call themselves the Silver Guard. Hmm. Their members have been pushing hard for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. Wasn't him that I expected to do that, but okay. Uh, led by scientist Arnav Kuti, they call themselves the Monarch Monarchist Initiative. Name kind of gives everything away. <laughs> been pushing hard for an extreme centralization of political and military power. And <laughs> another one led by Governor Gaylord Jones. <laughs> they call themselves the Xeno Compassion Network. They have pushing, been pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but one that approves of the government's actions should prove useful. Good enough for me. Let me look at what I'm getting the best of. Monarchist Initiative is really liking me. Okay.
We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Ionides. 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 I want to say Ionides. <laughs> ah! Got him! Okay. <laughs> Ionides, just so I quit making that stupid fucking joke. Ionides 5A. This sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most, uh, most likely a meteorite, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interesting, albeit primitive, design. System reconnaissance completed. Beautiful. Uh, Means I'm going to move over here. Oops. And bring this within the fold. Because why not? Alright. We try again. This time a little more confident because I have a bit more... Ooh. A bit more on my side. During its survey of... PO-1893, the ISS Trailblazer discovered deposits of rare crystals. These crystals have properties that make them extremely effective at focusing laser beams, and they are also a critical component in most advanced electronics. In addition, many cultures treasure them as decorations and adornments. Well, I mean, the crystals, why wouldn't they? That's kind of how we do it here. <laughs> While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Abso fucking Fleet action underway. Hmm. Through hard work and experience, scientist Gaston Pelissier. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. Uh, has developed new skills. Has found the expertise of propulsion trait. Nice. Nice. All right, let's see what we got. System reconnaissance oh. completed. First thing first. Atmospheric readings from Achenar 1 do not match simulated projections. Okay. And nothing too special there. Nothing too special here. Okay. We continue onward. Whoop. <laughs> Did not mean to blow through that that quickly. Did not think it would blow through that that quickly. Well, um, let's put uh, Ionidis shipped on that, and then explore both of those before moving on. That sounds good to me. Uh, bloop, and yep, that's the one I'm already looking into. We lost two Corvettes, but we managed to win, which is all we can hope for. Wow, how did they do 117% damage to hull armor and shields? Jesus. Their weapons are massively effective. At least compared to our current stuff that we have going. Jesus. Alright. I'm going to have them research the project, survey, and then go back to Ionidis and complete the survey there. And then we move on. Cool. Good to me. And we will send them home to repair. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oops, did I never set a focus for him? I never did. Son of a bitch, I'm an idiot. Alright, um... Shit, that one passed by way too quick as well. Didn't get to see it. But, uh, I wanted to look at this planet again. Real quick. Oh, that... That exofungus infestation really fucks with the planet's habitability. Jesus. 
An extremophilic exofungus spreads on this planet like a cancer, choking the terrain. Is there a way to get rid of it? I'll have to look that up at some point. Because if it can be get, gotten rid of, then it's absolutely still worth coming to this planet. But, uh... If it can't, then it kind of makes it a little difficult to consider it a habitable world for me to go to. Ugh. Okay, anyway. Um, researched uh, genome mapping. There we go. That's what we wanted. Mapping the genome of an individual through the sequencing of their DNA opens up for tailored medical treatments and therapies. And we look into... I kind of want to do biodiversity studies, but at the same time, we kind of need some extra food. So... Eco simulation. Alrighty. Farming techniques can be further refined through sophisticated computer simulations of different environments and weather patterns. This allows for more predictable crop yields. Sound good to me. Let's do it. Alright. Empowered exoskeletons will be done soon from the look of it. I'll get out of there real quick. And immense ragged plains of shadow drift across Akinar's one. Akinar Akernar's I was pronouncing it right. Fit one's face. Blah, blah, blah. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper atmosphere upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Gaston Pellissier is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Okay. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Yay! Powered exoskeletons. Alrighty, so let us move on to geothermal fracking, maybe? Nah, it's not that necessary. Ceramo metals, though. Combination of different metals and ceramics that result in a strong armor without sacrificing flexibility. I like the idea. Let's do it. Construction complete. Yay. And make him build stuff there. Whole bunch of stuff. Anomaly found. Repeated scans of Bijal 7, rather. Bajal 6's surface give inconsistent sensor readings, almost as if the planet itself was in a constant state of upheaval. Okay. Interesting. I see. Okay. Battle debris secured. Hey, hey! You learned about regenerative regenerative hull tissue, uh, amoeba breeding program, and society research, of course. Makes sense. Nice! And the fleet has been repaired. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, well, we've expanded pretty far, and the only thing we ran into was Amoeba. Huh. It's unfortunate that that's it. But... Huh, it's something. I mean, we wouldn't have gotten Wraith without it, so... I mean, hey, I'll take it. All right. Construction and... complete. 
Yeah, might as well get rid of this and this now. And system reconnaissance completed. There we go. Oh, that should be good. System reconnaissance completed. Whoop. Uh, construction ship is now doing nothing. Didn't notice that until just now. Um, hmm. Just send it back for now. For now. There we go. And that should be good. It should be good for a while. All right. Yeah, it's just going to head back. you know what let's head over to Kerbal the very geological structure of Bijal 6 I was about to say 7 again <laughs> it's just easier to say 7 I don't know why is indeed in flux driven by what science officer Gaston Pelissier assures us is a tectonic process as fascinating as it is esoteric what is of more interest to the Empire of Felinae is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless, chaotic self-transformation. In short, a near-instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more habitable so is theoretically possible. Gaston Pelissier estimates that an additional 200 credits will be needed to power through a thorough mapping of planetary activity and determine the validity of what the science officer has termed a Surgical terraforming strike. Actual terraforming lies beyond our grasp at present, so this is an exciting opportunity. Let's do it. Just so we don't miss out on it. Accidentally. Um. Construction complete. Every time, man. Every time. I almost never get one of those to work. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. The crew of the ISS Trailblazer are disappointed to report that the window of opportunity for terraforming Bijal 6 has closed, despite their best efforts to identify it in time. Another opportunity is unlikely to arise for another few centuries. Ah, fuck. Alright, well. All it cost was an extra 200 credits whatever hey another strategic resource found during its survey of Bajal 2 the ISS trailblazer has discovered several exotic gases previously unknown to us these gases have a variety of different uses particularly in the operation of advanced energy based weaponry and force fields some of the gases can also be used as starship fuel or even as recreational drugs. Uh, of course, if someone always has to find a way to make it into drugs. Oh, yeah. what, 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 what's this plant? If I just grind it into bits and then throw in gasoline and concrete. Oh, it makes coke. Okay, that's a drug. We'll use that. Okay, I'm going to shut up. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Damn right we will! Which is why I'm having the uh, destruction ship go to here. Or at least I was planning on that until I got sidetracked by everything else. Anomaly found. Hey. There's significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit... 
The massive rips looks almost like writing. Oh, uh, yeah, that one. I know what that means. Mercenary that had to show how... Had to talk about how big his dick is and how... Completed. How much of a troubled life he had. So he just decided to write everything onto a fucking planet with a mining laser because, you know, that's that's totally well-adjusted. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Uh, Mar Adetta 3. It's a continental world. 19. Has a weak magnetic field, though. Hmm. Well, System here's hoping it doesn't have anything completed. dumber. Like that one other planet. Our sensors indicate odd irregularities in I Ionidis energy emission pattern. Research. Best to look into it now. All right. Okay. And I think it's about time to end the uh, episode for right now, considering we are just a little bit over time. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and slowly but surely trying to expand our empire further and hopefully find some habitable planets along the way because so far it has not been very lucky. One planet is too small, the other planet is way too fucked up. So here's hoping that this next one is at least workable for you.